Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today it is Friday, and it has been a very long, long week, and I am going to do some major self-care tonight, so I thought I would film it and take you guys along with me. I made a little self-care to-do list because that's just the type of person that I am, so I have everything written down right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to the grocery store, and I actually just cleaned my bedroom, so I went ahead and made my bed, turned on the lights just to make it nice and calm, and then all my trash is by the door, which I'm about to take out to the trash cans so I'm in my car right now and I'm about to drive over to HEB because I need to go grocery shopping because this week has just been so rough I had two tests and the first test I did not get the grade I wanted the second test I like got the exact grade I wanted which is good but it's like that was like the bare minimum grade I would have accepted so it's just been a week and I just want to take a break and do some self-care so that I can survive next week. I just finished all my homework so that I would be ready to go and just like relax this weekend. It is currently 4.23 and I was supposed to go on a retreat that starts at 5 but honestly I just think I need a break so I'm gonna not go to that retreat and just chill out. So I just got back from HEB and it is currently 5.45 and the retreat started at 5 so looks like I'm either not going tonight or going to the very end of it tonight because it ends at 11 so if I feel like calm and collected I will go but honestly I'm kind of needing this self-care time. So I'm gonna cross off that I went grocery shopping and that is done. On my list, I have face mask, hair mask, which I've never done a hair mask before, so I'm really excited about it. I actually just got back from HEB and got this face wash. I was gonna do a face mask, but I've been seeing this on TikTok, this like African black soap thing, and I've never tried it before, but I'm really excited about it. So this is what it looks like. It is a clarifying facial wash and scrub with tamarind extract and tea tree oil for blemish prone skin. So I thought that this would be really fun to try and I'll let you know how it goes because I've never done it before. <laughs> which obviously I'm not gonna film because that would be inappropriate, but I'm going to use this hair mask, which it says to shampoo and then put this in your hair and let it sit for three to four minutes and then wash it out. So it's basically like instead of conditioner, it is a keratin smooth, deep smoothing mask with marula oil. And it says instantly hydrates for smooth, silky, manageable hair. And it's by Tresemme. I don't even know how to say that. So this is the hair mask. I've never tried this before. I've never done a hair mask ever before, so I'm kind of excited. I just got out of the shower and I did that hair mask and my hair is so soft, you guys. I wish I could just like take my hair off and like let y'all feel it somehow through the camera, but take my word for it. I really liked that hair mask. If you've never done a hair mask, I highly recommend. It was so nice. I literally just let it sit in my hair for like four minutes and now it is just very smooth. Also, I'm keeping this towel on my shoulders because my hair is really wet and I don't want to be all sticky and wet. We're going to try it. I'm not going to put it on my neck only because my neck is very eczema prone. So I want to put it on my face first and see what happens before I ever try it on my neck. But I just got a little amount for now. We're going to see what happens. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells like tea tree oil, which I think it has tea tree oil, so that makes sense. And the only reason I know what tea tree oil even smells like is because we always have tea tree oil when I go to yoga class, when I used to have it in person. Caroline has been really oily, so I'm trying to get it pretty close without getting it in my hair. All right, so it has sat for a little bit, just a couple minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. Okay, so I just washed it off my face. It kind of burned a little bit like around my lips. So maybe don't put it around like sensitive spots. I don't know if it like looks kind of red right here a little bit. Anyways, kind of burns close to your mouth. But the rest of my skin feels really good. So I definitely still give it like an 8 out of 10. I just wouldn't put it too close to your like 
I just wouldn't put it so close to like your eyes and your lips like I just did. It feels very clean. I hope that it helps some of my oiliness because it definitely feels a lot better. So now that I have done my hair mask and my face mask and my yoga, I'm feeling very refreshed and clean and I'm going to throw on my new outfit from Lash Next Door. Let me go grab that. All right, so this is that little set I was talking about. It is this cute little cropped zipper hoodie and it's a legit hoodie. Um, and I got this in a size small for reference, but it's this pink cropped material. It's super soft. I just got it, so it's pretty wrinkly still, but it is really soft. It's like pajama material, but I could also get away with wearing it as normal clothes, so it's like in between. I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a close-up on the material. It's like almost t-shirty. And then these are the shorts, and they go up pretty high, which I love because I like my high-waisted very high. And it has this little string, which this is not a real drawstring. So it's just like a thick elastic. And then this is like a fake little string. And yeah, these are the shorts. Here is the set on and I'm honestly like obsessed with it. So the material, like I said, goes up pretty high and it covers your butt, which is awesome because I do not like having my butt hanging out in every single pair of pajama shorts that I own. Um, I kind of like halfway zip the top so that it's not like hanging off of me. I'm freaking obsessed with it. I love it and I just love the color because pink is my favorite. So 10 out of 10 for this outfit. I'm literally obsessed. I love it. Good job to the McKnight family for this creation. So right now here's my to-do list. I'm about to throw on the fuzzy socks. Don't worry, I'm not cheating. But I want to declutter my laptop, make a smoothie, meal prep my lunch because I have pledge retreat this weekend, and watch some YouTube videos because I just need some time to watch some other creators, get some inspiration, and enjoy their content. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? Alright, so I just finished making the smoothies and I put them in these little ball jars. I'm gonna have this smaller one tonight just because I'm not like super hungry and then this other one is for tomorrow because I have pledge retreat early in the morning so I want to have my breakfast ready to go. So instead of meal prepping my lunch for tomorrow, I went ahead and got one of these little H-E-B chicken Caesar salad things and a little Caesar dressing so I can just throw that in a lunchbox tomorrow so I can go ahead and cross off meal prep off my list. My smoothie is finished. I'm so excited to have my delicious berry smoothie. My recipe will be linked down below in case you're interested. And now I get to cross that off my list and I'm going to go ahead and start decluttering my laptop. I just freed up 30 gigabytes of storage, which is awesome. I like to keep my storage nice and full. I could have gone a little bit more, but there really wasn't much that I need to delete right now because I recently decluttered my laptop. And now the very last thing on my to-do list is to watch some YouTube videos. Basically watching YouTube is like the equivalent of watching like Disney Plus or Netflix or something like that for me. I just watch so much YouTube because I feel like it helps to inspire my channel and I also love supporting other creators. Some of my favorite creators to watch are Hannah Elise. I think her real name is Hannah Mowdy. I also love Julia K. Christ and a couple other very productive academic lifestyle type YouTubers, so I'm really excited to just binge watch some YouTube. Each of us both down in the crown, a crown, a crown, a crown, a king and a queen royally bound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both you guys probably don't want to watch me watch YouTube for the rest of the night, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I officially finished my full self care night. 
here are all the things crossed off on my self-care to-do list so i'm very excited about that but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope it inspired you to take care of yourself in some way even if you don't have time to give yourself the whole night because sometimes i know i don't it's a lot easier to just even grab a water bottle and drink a whole water because your body needs water or watch one movie or plan a date night with your friends or with your boyfriend or whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave some purple heart emojis if you made it this far and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Bye. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings I'll be your guide Don't stop looking in my eyes